Nasaka Mary Goretti lives in Uganda. She has been farming all of her life. Despite hard work, she did not have much to show for it. She lived in a mud house where her seven children had to share beds. In those days, I used to work very hard and I did not get good yield from this land. That is why my older children did not study well and have really poor grades. But now, my younger kids, they all go to school and do well. And even the older ones are now continuing schooling. A village agent introduced Mary to Easy Agric App that helped her improve the production, analyzing the soil, getting good quality seeds, using fertilizers, insecticides and other inputs, and accessing better market. All of this made it possible for Mary to finish her new house, buy off the land that she was renting, and now she is also venturing into animal keeping. As I have started this, it was a system all new to me, but now it works very well. And now I can also keep some money aside in the bank. So, if there is something I would like to buy, I just go to the bank and withdraw. Now I have my own bank account. In the past, Mary would earn up to $100 per harvest. Now she earns up to $800. All of this was enabled by the development of Easy Agric App through the involvement of K plus S. K plus S is aiming to strengthen agricultural ecosystems in sub-Saharan Africa, specifically through local partnerships. So K plus S is invested into the local Ugandan company Grain Parts Limited, which is for one providing agricultural inputs to smallholder farmers and at the moment mainly quality fertilizers, crop specific, and also processing produce such as coffee, grains and pulses and doing value addition. Later, K plus S partnered with the Pan-African fintech company, MFS Africa Limited, in order to jointly invest into the local Ugandan startup Akorion. This team of young entrepreneurs had built the Easy Agric app, which is digitizing agricultural value chains in Uganda. The young men and women behind this app hope to expand its usage all over the continent. But we are planning the next 12 months from now, especially with our partnership with K plus S and MFS Africa, for us to make it a pan-African uh, kind of solution. One take it to Kenya, one take it to Ghana, one take it to Nigeria, one take it to Zambia. Name it because as African continent as a whole is mainly dominated by smallholder farmers. Farmers that cannot afford smartphones in Uganda can access the app through a network of village agents who visit them regularly and assist in improving farmers' production and consequently quality of their life. This is helping the rural communities to develop and move forward as the reward for their hard work. In the future, my target is to put some money aside. I would start a business that would help me when I'm seated at home. I'll do animal rearing so I can care for my future. One thing is for sure, Mary's future looks much brighter now.